Our universe is unimaginably big. Hundreds of billions and trillions of galaxies spin through space, each containing billions or trillions of stars. Some researchers studying models of the universe speculate that the universe's diameter could be seven billion light years across. Others think it could be infinite. But is it all that's out there? Science fiction loves the idea of a parallel universe and the thought that we might be living just one of an infinite number of possible lives. Multiverses aren't reserved for Star Trek, Spider-Man and Doctor Who though. Real scientific theory explores and in some cases supports the possibility for universes outside, parallel to or distant from but mirroring our own. Multiverses and parallel worlds are often argued in the context of other major scientific concepts like the Big Bang, string theory and quantum mechanics. Around 13.7 billion years ago, everything we know of was an infinitesimal singularity. Then, according to the Big Bang theory, it burst into action, inflating faster than the speed of light in all directions for a tiny fraction of a second. Before 10 to the negative 32 seconds had passed, the universe had exploded outward to 10 raised to 26 times its original size in a process called cosmic inflation. And that's all before the actual expansion of matter that we usually think of as the Big Bang itself, which was a consequence of all this inflation. As the inflation slowed, a flood of matter and radiation appeared, creating the classic Big Bang fireball and began to form the atoms, molecules, stars and galaxies that populate the vastness of space that surrounds us. That mysterious process of inflation and the Big Bang have convinced some researchers that multiple universes are possible, or even very likely. According to theoretical physicist Alexander Velenkin of Tufts University in Massachusetts, inflation didn't end everywhere at the same time. While it ended for everything that we can detect from Earth 13.8 billion years ago, cosmic inflation, in fact, continues in other places. This is called the theory of eternal inflation. And as inflation ends in a particular place, a new bubble universe forms. Those bubble universes can't contact each other because they continue to expand indefinitely. If we were to set off for the edge of our bubble, where it might butt up against the next bubble universe over, we'd never reach it because the edge is zipping away from us faster than the speed of light and faster than we could ever travel. But even if we could reach the next bubble, according to eternal inflation combined with string theory, our familiar universe with its physical constants and habitable conditions could be completely different from the hypothetical bubble universe next to our own. The reason is that intelligent observers exist only in those rare bubbles in which, by pure chance, the constants happen to be just right for life to evolve. The rest of the multiverse remains barren, but no one is there to complain about that. In other words, in some of the infinite bubble universes outside our own, there could be other intelligent observers. But in every instant that passes, we get farther away from them and we will never intersect. Some researchers base their ideas of parallel universes on quantum mechanics, the mathematical description of subatomic particles. In quantum mechanics, multiple states of existence for tiny particles are all possible at the same time. A wave function encapsulates all of those possibilities. However, when we actually look, we only ever observe one of the possibilities. According to the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics as described by the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, we observe an outcome when the wave function collapses into a single reality. But the many worlds theory proposes instead that every time one state or outcome is observed, there is another world in which a different quantum outcome becomes reality. This is a branching arrangement in which instant by instant our perceived universe branches into near infinite alternatives. Those alternate universes are completely separate and unable to intersect. So while there may be uncountable versions of you living a life that's slightly or wildly different from your life in this world and you'd never know it, the many worlds theory is the most courageous take on the quandary of quantum mechanics. Some physicists believe in a flatter version of multiple universes. That is, if the universe that we live in goes on forever, 
there are only so many ways that the building blocks of matter can arrange themselves as they assemble across infinite space. Eventually, any finite number of particle types must repeat a particular arrangement. Hypothetically, in a big enough space, those particles must repeat arrangements as large as entire solar systems and galaxies. So, your entire life might be repeated elsewhere in the universe, down to what you ate for breakfast yesterday. At least, that's the theory. But if the universe began at a finite point, as nearly every physicist agrees that it did, an alternate version of you likely doesn't exist. The number possible outcomes from particles in any universe interacting with one another tends towards infinity faster than the number of possible universes increases due to inflation. In a relatively recent addition to the pantheon of multiverse theories, researchers from the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics in Waterloo, Ontario, have proposed that the universe began at the Big Bang and on the opposite side of the Big Bang timeline, stretching backwards in time, a universe once existed that was the exact mirror image of our own. Instead of saying there was a different universe before the Bang, this theory suggests that the universe before the Bang is actually, in some sense, an image of the universe after the Bang. That means everything, protons, electrons, even actions like cracking an egg, would be reversed. Anti-protons and positively charged electrons would make up atoms, while eggs would uncrack and make their way back inside chickens. Eventually, that universe would shrink down, presumably to a singularity before expanding out into our own universe. Seen another way, both universes were created at the Big Bang and exploded simultaneously backward and forward in time. In summary, there are several theories in favor of the multiverse theory. 1. Cosmic Inflation Our universe grew exponentially in the first moments of its existence, but was this expansion uniform? If not, it suggests different regions of space grew at different rates and may be isolated from one another. 2. Mathematical Constants How are the laws of the universe so exact? Some propose that this happened only by chance. We are the one universe out of many that happen to get the numbers right. 3. The observable universe. What is beyond the edge of the observable space around us? No one knows for sure, and until we do, which could be never, the thought that your universe extends indefinitely is an interesting one. However, there are also several points researchers have made against the multiverse theory. 1. Falsifiability. There is no way for us to ever test theories of the multiverse. We will never see beyond the observable universe, so if there is no way to disprove the theories, should they even be given credence? 2. Occam's Razor Sometimes the simplest ideas are the best. Some physicists argue that we don't need the multiverse theory at all. It doesn't solve any paradoxes and only creates complication. Thank you for watching Oberon Labs and subscribe to expand your mind one universe at a time.